Turning on to his left, gets a strike away off the crossbar and in! It's a late equalizer for Inter Miami's Chris McVay, who gets his first goal in some style in Miami, able to at least salvage a point. Hey, welcome back. Inter Miami earned a point with a dramatic late equalizer and a 4-4 draw with FC Cincinnati at Dry Pink Stadium. The trading match saw a man of the match Gonzalo Iwain at a first half hat trick, while Chris McVay scored an equalizer in the seventh minute of the second half to top his time. Inter Miami came out racing out of the gates, testing Cincinnati defense with early chances from Yeli, Iwain, and Vasilev. In the 23rd minute, the team capitalized on his momentum, scoring the opening goal after Taylor drew a foul in dangerous position. Iwangi stepped up and blasted his free kick from the edge of the box into the top right corner of the net for the 1-0 lead. A rollercoaster of a first half proceeded to unfold with Cincinnati equalizing five minutes later when Albus Powell hit a low ball into Brenner De Silva in front of a goal who slid and finished with a strike. In my opinion, it looked like the inter defense did not know they had a Cincy attacker behind their back. Inter Miami reclaimed his lead for a brief period in the 37th minute after a patient passing buildup. Pozuelo with a through ball between three defenders into Iwain perfectly timed run pass up defense and into the box. The Argentine then lashed onto the pass, run to the keeper, and hit his shot into the back of the net for his second goal of the first half and the 2 1 lead. Pozuelo assists Marcus first with Inter Miami and the sixth of the season. Cincinnati, however, equalized once again in the 40th minute when Luciano Acosta played a long through ball in transition to Brenner behind the defense, who once again finished to make it 2-2. The action continued late in the second half with Cincinnati scoring goals in quick succession to take the lead past the 80th minute mark. First, Alvaro Arreal made run into the box to hit a pass for Brandon Baskets in front of a goal, who scored to make it 3-3. Minutes later, the duo connected again this time from across by Alvaro Arreal to a sliding finish by Baskets to make it 3-4 in the 86th minute. Deep into the second half stop time, Inter Miami sent everybody forward and possession was recycled by Yelling to Quarantine Young on the right wing, who then played a ball to McVay into the box, who rifled a left-footed shot off the bar and then for a dramatic late equalizer. The goal was McVay first for the club while the assist was Young first. After the game, it looked like both of the teams lost the game because of their body language and Inter Miami let Sensi come back three times during the game, and on the other hand, since he giving an equalizer in the last minute of the game. Well, and that's all here from Dry Pink Stadium, Inter Miami for Cincinnati for it was a crazy match. It, it, it was eight goals, but it could have been nine goals. It was a goal that was disallowed by Alejandro Pozuelo. It was gonna be his first ever goal with the Inter Miami jersey. It was a beautiful, it was a beautiful goal by Alejandro Pozuelo. It was uh, it wasn't him that was offside, it was Robert Taylor was offside but yeah enter miami next game will be wednesday at san jose as they travel to the west coast it will be a late night game at 10 30 p.m but yeah that's all here from drake Point stadium i'm your host miguel Paz.